Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Dr. Caroline, a practicing board certified family medicine physician. And this channel is created to help RVU based primary care physicians scale their work RVUs and maximize their income without overworking or burning out in order to have a thriving career. In this video today, I want to share with you how you can achieve more while working less. Now, I always like to share my own story and my struggles that led me to be able to help others. Medical school and residency did not prepare me to be productive, at least not in the way that I know it now, or how to be financially successful as a primary care physician. I have always worked hard and I pride myself in that. Even when times got tough in school, I just worked harder and it always worked. It's the method that got me into my top choice for medical school and residency, and it's what led me to become a chief resident and excel as a new attending physician. Discipline was the only way I knew how to be productive and it was always my superpower. Until 2022, when I experienced my first burnout ever in my career. At first, I just thought I was extremely tired, but no, it was full-on burnout. I experienced symptoms of anxiety and stress. I was irritable and short-fused. And to top all that, my work review productivity and my income suffered. Prior to this, I never understood the word burnout. I honestly just thought it was like a lazy person's formal term for, I don't want to work hard, I don't want to push myself, etc. So before 2022, this word was nowhere near my vocabulary, even when times got tough, because it wasn't me. I'm a hard worker, I'm a high performer, I thrive in that. So this word was like nowhere near my vocabulary. But there I was in 2022, fully burned out, and I genuinely thought about changing careers. It was that bad. I knew things had to change. I knew if I wanted to continue practicing into 2023, I had to make massive changes. Now, this is the time when people would be like, you should take some time off for self-care. But what about work care? Because, okay, fine, I take a week for self-care. Then what, I come right back into the same destructive workflow that got me into burnout in the first place. That kind of sounds like a dead end. And so my focus when it came to making changes was work care. Changing my workflow to fit my energy. Finding ways to enjoy my work so that way it doesn't feel draining. And most importantly, understanding the RVU compensation model so that I can strategically maximize my productivity and income without overworking. And it became sort of like a challenge or a game that I enjoy and look forward to each workday. And that in turn boosts my energy even more and it makes me feel good because I feel in control. This is why I love watching productivity videos from people like Ali Abdal because this is exactly the kind of stuff that he teaches in his massive library of videos and in his new book feel good productivity which you should definitely check out by the way i have it linked below if you're interested one of the things that he says is when you feel good you generate energy which boosts productivity and this productivity leads to feelings of achievement which in turn makes you feel good all over again and as you can imagine this eventually reduces stress which means less risk for burnout so the early months of 2023 is when i started to learn and implement practical strategies to help me maximize my productivity and decrease my workload so that i'm less stressed stressed at work and I'm able to actually enjoy my work. I didn't do anything fancy. I didn't come up with a new compensation model or new guidelines. I literally just learned and mastered the basics and my work just naturally became easier to manage. My work review started to scale and so did my income. My mood was improving as well. I was traveling more. I was able to spend more time with my family, which is always a blessing. I remember I shared a couple of these um, strategies with one of my colleagues and he implemented them. And after a few months, he called me up and told me how his work reviews had significantly increased. And I think that month when he called me, we had actually generated the same amount of work I've used that month, which is crazy. I couldn't believe it. And this is kind of when the light bulb went on for me. I knew that I wanted to share my experiences and the practical strategies that I learned using myself as the test subject and how it was able to bring me success in so many different ways. And that's how this channel came about and what led me to start my RBU consulting program. I didn't have this kind of information or someone to guide me before I went through my journey. So I challenge you to stop overworking and stop overwhelming yourself. I challenge you to take on a more productive way to maximize your RVU production and income. And I challenge you to prioritize your happiness and a better balance in your life. All right, friends, if this content was interesting to you and you'd like to see more content like this, then definitely consider subscribing because I do post a video like this every single week. If you're serious about scaling your work RVUs and maximizing your income, then definitely check out our RVU consulting program. The link is below if you want to check that out. And certainly check out the free training video I have linked below as well. Make sure to leave a like and share this video with your colleagues. I'll see you next time.